Hi everyone. Welcome to Lunch with Laura. Today I've got some things that I'm going to show you and share with you so that you can learn some tricks the trade. Today we're going to be doing a set called Light the Sky and it's found in the online exclusives. And I'm going to get back to that in just a minute. First thing I wanted to talk to you about was uh, we are having celebration. The uh, mini catalog that is just awesome came out last week. It has some wonderful sets, some absolutely gorgeous designer series paper. And every time you spend $50, you get to pick something out of the Celebration Catalog. If you place a $100 order, $100 order, you can pick two $50 items, such as a stamp set or some of the designer paper. Or you could go towards the back, and there are things that you can get for your hundred dollar order, just one item. The thing I want to talk about right quick first is that we're also having a joining special. You can um, put together your own starter kit and you have two options. You can either get this awesome glass mat that comes with this little uh, tray and I like to put my my uh, stamps pad in there so that it doesn't wiggle around. These are slots that you can use for the stamp and spots. You could use it like watercolor paints and then you get a rag to go with it. It's one of the um, the foam rags that'll clean everything, and then you can rinse that out and just store it right there. Now, since we're talking a little bit about these housekeeping stuff, I wanted to share with you the importance of keeping your blocks clean. This one we used at Stamp Camp last night. More than likely, it was used by someone that pressed down too hard into the ink. Remember that our pads are foam and you just need to tap, tap, tap. So when you get them like this, you need to clean them and you can always use our Stampin' Scrub with our Stampin' Mist. There's a, a wet side and a dry side and clean it off like that. So that's what you can do when you're using that. Other times, you need to take your um, cloth, I mean, your little cloth that also comes with the uh, stamp and mist, or you can get along, it doesn't come with it. You can get one and just spray your blocks like this and clean them. Okay, that makes them look pretty and work better. The other way, which I've got a whole bunch of Ziggy, to be clean today, and I'm just going to take them over to the sink, use some Dawn detergent on them, wash them real good, rinse them, let them air dry, or you can dry them off, and that will make things work better. The other thing I wanted to tell you about is it's important to keep your photopolymer stamps clean also. They tend to, sometimes they get to where they won't stick on the block and it's either ink is on the block or fingerprints or whatever. So again, take your photopolymer stamps over to the sink Put your stopper in so you don't lose any, but then just put a little uh, Dawn and water, wash them off, and then I just air dry them, pat them dry, and set them aside until they're completely dry. And then, of course, our trusty 
alcohol pads. Don't use these on your stamps. But the stamp pad, when you get ink on it, I just like to have them look nice. I don't like to have ink all over them. Bad for business. Okay. Okay. Let's get on with our card today. As, uh, as I showed you, the card that we're making, and I'm going to hold it, let's see, like so. It's a trifold card. So it opens all the way. There's a flap here where you can put uh, your little written message, or you can stamp something in there if you want to and use the back any way you want to do it. So I'm going to show you what we're using here and how simple and cute this card turns out. Now the stamp set that I'm using today is Light the Sky. It has dies and it's on the uh, online exclusive page. Now because this is an older set that they have put there, you can't get a bundle price, but if you buy the stamp set and the dies, you've reached $50, and you know what that means. You get to pick out of the celebration catalog. So, now, do y'all know where the online exclusives are? They're not offered in any of our catalogs. So when you go to the website, if you go to stampinatthebirdnest.com and click on the shop button, it opens up with some icons. It'll, I think it's got stamp sets. I'm not sure what all of them are, but, but I think there's six icons and one of them is online exclusives. And if you will click there, you'll be able to see all of them that are offered at this time. So, be sure to put in the host code. When you go to Stampin' at the Bird Nest, here's the January code. And if you need me, you can reach me at stampinatthebirdnest.com. Um, if you want to email me, laura at stampinatthebirdnest.com. Okay. Now, this, I am using, oh, and I wanted to show you too, the, I'm not sure what you call this type of die, but they're, you cut around them, they don't punch out per se. Now this one, I, I stamped the image and then cut the whole one out, but the other ones, are done where you just crop around them and um, they just make the prettiest designs. These I did in, in um, our pink and the, it doesn't show up very well, but there's some stars and then there's some other streaks there that you can see. And let me put this back. Then um, the paper that I'm using that I thought was just the perfect thing for this is our Bright and Beautiful 6x6. Six six. This is in the annual catalog. It is very colorful. I'm finding more and more that uh, Stampin' Up! is using a lot of color with different colors with their um, Stampin' um, 6 by well, with all of their designer paper. And, um, of course, that fits me to a T because I'm all about color. There, there are still a few that only offer four, maybe five different colors. But this one has a whole bunch, as you can see. And it's just so much fun to work with all this. So, this is the paper I used today. And the colors that I pulled out of the designer paper stack were, um, these were the colors that I used. The base is blueberry bushel. Then we have our card stock, I mean our DSP that's gonna go 
on it. Then we have a piece of berry burst and bubble gum, which I have not used a whole lot of. So that is what I use for this card. Now, to make the trifold, you I meant to bring this over so you could see it, but we have a board that's called Simply Scored. And it is awesome to score. I use it every time I make a card, I score down the middle. And then for the fun fold cards, it really comes in handy because you've got everything right there. You can put your little markers to show you which line to go down. And so this card was scored at two and an eighth and then at four and a quarter. So it measures eight and a half by five and a half. And once you have those scored, you can what I call accordion fold them. So there you have your card. And I did not use my bone folder to get a real crisp line because I want it to stand up. This one is having a little hard time standing up because it's been played with so many times. So the next thing I'm going to do is use this, the stars. I thought that was just adorable um, and very happy new year. So um, this is cut at four inches by five and a quarter and it's going to go up in the top panel. And I'm just going to adhere it. And put it right there. Then I'm going to put the other piece. Now you can use one sheet of the 6x6 six six for this card. And you still you have a little bit left over that we'll may use somewhere else. So this is going to go here because I'm going to break up. Ooh, I didn't cut that all the way. I'm going to break up the pattern instead of it all being, you know, like stars or stripes or whatever. So let me put this one down. And these stars don't have an up and down. You can put them any way you want. Okay, so now we have that. And I'm going to put this one in the middle. Oh, I need to trim this right quick. I'm about to get adhesive where it only. Okay. And let me get my other. That little trimmer is great, but it's not quite wide enough all the time. So our stamping trimmer works really well. Okay, this needs to be five and a quarter. So I'm going to put it right here. And now our trimmer comes with a scoring blade and a cutting blade. So be sure you don't get them mixed up. Okay, let me see if I can finish putting on our adhesive there. And there you have that. Okay, so that's, there's your card base. Now, the next thing, I took a piece of um, berry burst that is three and a half inches by seven and I scored it at three and a quarter I'm sorry three and a half so I'm gonna fold that there and I'm gonna go ahead and put my little card inside where I'm gonna be writing my message or, like I said, you can stamp if you choose to do that. And I just cut the white square and the bubble bath three by three. Now, this is the one we're going to decorate. And let's see, we need to get out the Happy New Year stamp right here. And let's see, 
I'm going to use that block. Okay. Be sure it's right side up. I'm going to, to do this in berry burst. Tap, tap, tap. Don't mash down. And then I'm going to put it as close to the middle as I can get it. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, the next thing we're going to do, which is always one of my funner techniques to do, we're going to emboss. And when you emboss, it makes it stand out a little bit. And I'm going to show you how you can use clear embossing powder with a colored stamp pad. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I do it. So what I'm going to do is take, now last night we got a little mixed up and, and the ink got on here. If that happens to your verse mark pad, it will not affect future stamping. This one is very old, discolored, but it still works great as long as it's inked up. I'm going to take one of my little fireworks stamps and I am let me put I don't want that to get on my platform there okay I am going to take I'm going to stamp in the Versamark and then I'm going to stamp oops right there all right now the trick is that you do need to clean between each stamping. So I'm going to verse mark, ink, stamp that there, clean. Okay, now comes the fun part. I have my little accessory tray here, and I have some clear embossing powder. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle that on. Make sure that it's covered well. tap off any remaining. This does make a mess, but it's so much fun. So I'm going to um, start my heat to, and it's always a good idea. This gets really, really hot. So I'm going to use some tweezers to hold it. And Okay, let me see if I can let you see what it looks like when it starts changing. See how it's starting to... My foot is stuck around the cord. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So here you can watch the magic happen which is always so much fun. Okay. And there you have it. Got a little smudge there that I'm going to fix in a second. This does make a mess, so I... Uh-oh. And I just made a, another mess. Um, I do have an area where I like to do this so that it doesn't, that little fine dust goes everywhere. So, um, that way you can kind of keep the dust particles away from your projects. Okay, and I'm going to pop this up. You know, I'm a fan of dimensionals. And... This is going to go here, 
and then <clears throat> you're going to take your card and I am going to adhere this just see how I did it just not at the very top just a little ways down and I'm going to use our um, stamp and seal going to put it right in the middle or as close to the center as I can get it. Now, when you fold it, that's the way it'll look. Now, I'm going to add some of our ribbon to this. This is also in the annual catalog. It comes as a uh, set. There's five uh, yards on each roll. And um, this one is Bubble Bath, Azure Afternoon, and Lemon Lolly. And all of these colors are in here. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut about 22 inches so that I can make a full bow there. I'm going to turn it around. I've told you in the past, I don't know why, but if I don't turn my ribbon with my card upside down to make the bow, the legs stick up, up in the air instead of down. So this is why I always turn it around. And it has just a little edge of silver. And I just think those, it adds to a card. And then you can make your bow as big or as little as you want and trim off any excess. Oops. And there you have it. Now, I also wanted to add some of our basic rhinestones. You can hardly have too much bling, as those of you that like glitter and glitz. No. Okay, these come in three sizes, and um, I'm gonna use, I put my take your pick tool somewhere. So I'm just gonna use the, um, I'm gonna use some scissors just to lift off and then I'm going to use a couple other sizes. Come on. So there my boo-boo is covered and then it has, so it's got large, medium, and small. Let's see, there it is. So I'm just going to add a few of these around. And as you know, you go in odd numbers. Or the artist will talk about you. I'll put a couple right in the middle. Okay, now let's see how many I have. So it has to be an odd number. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That works for me. Okay. There is your card. I actually think that I haven't done my January birthday cards yet. And I'm thinking that I might put wishing you Happy New Year and Happy Birthday in there. And then, of course, you can always go back and add what you want here and with that little scrap of paper if you wanted to put that at the bottom which I think would be really cute I'm going to trim this so that it's at three inches okay I'm going to put that 
right there. Isn't that cute? I just think this is the cutest and it's so simple to make. So there you have your card for today. Remember that this one, this stamp set is only offered online. You can go to stampinatthebirdnest.com and uh, shop there. Go down and, and click on the online exclusives and that'll show you the sets and um, stamp sets, paper, other items that are on that page. And remember, you can't find them anywhere else. So, listen, y'all have a great new year. I'm going to pull that up just a little bit. Let's see. There we go. And there you have, I guess I'll just show you the card. There you have your card. That'll stand up like so. So I hope you'll try this technique. Last night I had um, my, I've changed the name of Stamp Camp. <coughs> it's now called Laura's Stampin' Nest. And um, I had the girls over. We made this as a 3D card. And then I did two other cards in different designs. So stay tuned in on, on Thursdays at noon and you'll get to see some of the other things that I've had fun making. And I love sharing with all of you. Have a great day, week, and a wonderful 2024. May all your dreams come true. Love you. See you next time.